The Millville Fire Department held their inaugural Outdoorsman Marketplace recently to help raise money for future expansion. And for a first year event, it was packed. The turnout's been uh, tremendous. It's uh, since 7 o'clock this morning, it's been steady, constant flow of people. Uh, if you can see in the background, there is a mess of people here right now. We have different vendors with business licenses here uh, selling their products, and all money raised is going uh, towards our new building fund that uh, we are in the process of doing right now. I was expecting to turn out, but the first time an event like this, you don't know what to expect. So I am very happy with the amount of people that have come out, the amount of people that are still coming. Coming, the amount of people that are calling me telling me they're on the way, it's it's amazing. We knew that uh, throughout the community, the talk up, it was probably going to be pretty big, but I never expected it to be like this. They're raffling off guns, ladies auxiliaries banging out coffee and sandwiches like it's like there's no tomorrow. It's great. For breakfast, we have scrambled egg, <laughs> ham and egg, hot dogs, hot sausages for lunch, pulled pork, pulled pork platters, pizza. Chili. Chili. Coffee, all hot drinks, all cold drinks. We are loaded. Bring them on. We have all types of different vendors. We have uh, some craft vendors that have to do with outdoors. We have some uh, fishing vendors. We have some hunting vendors. Um, we have one guy that's making uh, duck calls. We have one guy that uh, has homemade turkey calls. So it's a little bit diversity of everything. Oh, this is a great event. It's uh, The doors opened at 7, and it's been a crowd ever since the doors opened. It's great. We're trying to sell some chances for a gun. We also have a 50 or 52 gun giveaway calendar. And we're just trying to get information out about our banquet. It's coming up February 23rd at um, the Cheer Center at, 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 in Georgetown. We're the reason the turkeys are back in Delaware 35 years ago. We had a zero population. Today we've got a population of probably between six and 8,000. We've got a, a marlin down here. Um, I actually just did drips instead of the traditional style. Try to give it a little turn. Um, we got a lot of crabs. I know a lot of people on the Eastern Shore like to stick with the crabs. So lots of late nights painting. It was a really good turnout and it's been a lot of fun. I've met a lot of good people. So a lot of locals. The company I started myself, Bubba was a nickname. I like to duck hunt and I figured we'll try it. This is uh, my duck call, single read called Cancel Flight. They're personalized for free. At the shows, you can pick them up for $30. If you want them personalized, it's done, and I'll mail it right to you. They sound pretty good, a little demonstration. trail is so unique it's tender it's kippered and we have 18 different recipes we also have tuna and marlin jerky that we get from Hawaii all right Andrew and Willie I'm gonna try tuna jerky from Hawaii here that's good it doesn't taste fishy at all. No. It tastes like beef jerky. It's a sushi grade tuna. From the wow. Beef. And we also have their marlin. Man, good stuff. Our inventory goes down evenly. Some like it with pepper, some like it without. We have from no heat to holy up to hot habanero and everything in between. You guys are giving samples? We're giving samples. It's limited today because it's a one day show. Ocean City uh, Boat Show is a three day show. We're going to have samples of all 18 recipes, including the tuna and the marlin. You had one guy here say this is the best jerky on the planet. Well, you keep walking around, you're going to find more than one. <laughs> Deer jerky is really good, but I heard this stuff is the best, and you can't buy it out in just regular stores. Show us, what do you got right there? Teriyaki, and it comes with a free beef stick. Oh, you think you're going to come back next year for this? Definitely. We'll do this every year. That's that's a given, especially after this. I mean, this this turnout and the whole community coming out and turning out, they're loving it. Get outdoors, Don Marva. <laughs>